Okay, I'm going to talk about charging systems, battery problems, and uh, kind of learning as I go. This is a 2008 Yamaha WR450. So one time I was riding, a long ride, came to a stop, went to turn my ignition back on, and nothing came on. That light didn't come on, nothing came on. I was dead in the water. So the first thing I did is check fuses, check wiring. There's nothing. But then all of a sudden, the light came on. I said, oh, okay. So then I rode back, but then that light wouldn't come on. So then what we did is uh, took the seat off, the battery's right under here, checked the voltage on it. Now I was running like about 9 volts. Charged it up, got up to 10.5 volts. That's all I could get. It was 10 and a half volts. I thought maybe something wrong with the charger or the volt ohmmeter, but no. That, so then determined there was a cell dead in the battery. Normally when you charge it, you should go to about 12.8 volts. So then I went and got a new battery, put it in. Oh, I had my 12 volt reading. I thought I was good to go, but I wasn't. I went to ride again, and then after half a day, battery's dead again. I thought it was a defective battery. But after learning uh, on my own, <clears throat> it turns out it's the stator. So anytime you're not getting around 13 and a half to 15 volts at the battery while the engine is running, and 90% uh, of the time it's going to be your stator, which is behind here. So I'm going to tell you how to replace your stator, which solved my problems. You uh, first you got to do is you got to remove your kicks uh, shifter. Remove the um, skid plate. Do you drain all the oil? There's a hose back here. It's just a spring clip. Pull that hose off, and then you have all these bolts. And one I forgot. I didn't see it. It was down here, and it was actually covered in dirt. So make sure you do a look at all your bolts. So, uh, none of none of this. You don't have to take any of that off, but this, this, all these, and when you take this off, there's a gear behind it, and let's see, there's this gear, so don't lose these two washers, there's a washer that goes on either side of that gear, and <clears throat> so when I took this stator out, and let's see if we can see it, you will it's discolored uh, right in yeah it's discolored on there so that means the the wiring is not bad it's the coating of the wire that went bad and on stator systems there's two wires one that runs the lights 12 volts one that runs the ignition system and charging system so on Amazon it's not the original but it was like uh, 70 bucks and it came with the pickup coil. So after you take all the bolts out, uh, disconnect this, cut your zip ties. There's the two connectors. At the end, disconnect that. Get everything out of the way. And this pulled off fairly easily. And then after you take it off, there's only two screws holding the stator on and two more holding the, uh, the pickup coil so when you put everything back make sure you tuck the wire underneath the pickup coil <clears throat> because the rotor is going to go over this when you put it back together and you don't want any wiring sticking up at attaching that rotor this when you see this wire is coming out of it, it is sealed so you don't necessarily have to uh, put any sealing on it. So when you put it back, the cover back on, make sure that is in place and they're good. And when you put this gear back in, and then you go to put the cover on, that gear probably won't line up. So the way I did it is uh, put it put it in gear and just uh, with the Kickstarter, just rotated it slightly and then the gears uh, lined up and I put the cover on reverse. And uh, that's about it.